Greek genocide occurred in what is today known as Turkey from 1914 to 1923. The word genocide was coined by a legal scholar named Raphael Lemekin. It comes from the Greek root genos, meaning family or race, and the Latin root side, meaning to massacre. The Greek genocide, also known as the Pontic genocide, was happening simultaneously with World War I. It was initiated by two consecutive governments of the Ottoman Empire, the Committee for Union and Progress, and the Kemalists, as an attempt to exterminate all the Greeks living in Turkey. The reason the Ottomans wanted to destroy the Greeks was simply because they feared their growing in population would aid the Ottomans' enemies in overtaking the Ottoman Empire. The, young the Turks had no reason or right to do the cruel and unnecessary things they did to the Greeks. Although there is not an exact number, there was an estimated one million Greeks killed by the time the genocide was over. There was death marches, mass murders, and massacres in attempts to remove all Greeks from Turkey. The remaining Greeks who survived were deported out of Turkey. Many deported Greeks took refuge in Russia, where they were not prosecuted. In response to help the Greeks and put a stop to the horrible genocide, an American committee called the Relief Committee for Greeks of Asia Minor was formed. This was the first of many groups and committees from countries all over the world coming together to try and end this mass killing of Greeks. Today, the Turkish government completely denies the fact that the Greek genocide ever occurred. However, there is much proof testifying that the genocide did actually happen. The horrifying details of this mass murder of the Greeks was not widely discussed in the media at this time. Although the Greek genocide was kept out of the spotlight throughout the world, evidence of the genocide can still be found in the archives of America, Great Britain, France, Italy, Germany, Russia, and even the Ottoman Turkey. In addition to this, hundreds of survivors of the Greek genocide have shared their stories and there are even pictures of those events occurring. One survivor, Maria Katsadu, recalls some of the ho horrific events of the genocide. Around Easter, the Turkish army came and told us to take with us everything we could. We loaded up the animals, but the saddlebags tore open and most of us were left without food. On the deportation march, the Turkish guards would rape the women, one of whom fell pregnant. In the Talakta area, about half of our group was lost in a snowstorm. From there, they took us to a place without water, south, Yezao, south. Many died of thirst. Soon afterwards, as we passed the river, all of us threw ourselves at the water. People fell over each other in a rush. Many drowned. We reached Firatrima, which was a Kurdish area, and they left us at a village near a bridge. It was here that the pregnant girl gave birth to twins. The Turks cut the newborns in two and tossed them in the river. On the riverbank, they killed many more of our group. The Turkish government went to great lengths to conceal these awful details of the, ma of the murders of over one million Greeks. Because of this, they were able to continue killing these innocent people for nine years with minimal interference from other countries. The Greek genocide had a profound impact on the rest of the world long after it was over. Some experts argue that if the Greek genocide did not occur, the Holocaust of the Jews in 1933 may not have happened or it wouldn't have been extreme, as extreme.